Start with the basics, and like a pro, this isn't just a Swift UI transitions tutorial, it's your step-by-step -step upgrade to full mastery. Let's start simple. We begin by creating a variable called show. This variable is marked with at state because we want Swift UI to watch it for changes. The default value of show is false. That means when the screen first appears, we are not showing the view yet. Then we have a button. When the user taps this button, we call with animation and toggle the show variable. So if show is false, it becomes true. And if show is true, it becomes false. This is what allows us to animate the appearance and disappearance of the view. Now we write if show. This is a condition. It means if show is true, then the code inside the curly braces will run. And inside those braces, we create a rectangle view. So if show is true, Swift UI will add the rectangle to the screen. If show is false, the rectangle will not be shown at all. Now here comes the important part. We add dot transition dot opacity to the rectangle. This tells Swift UI when you add or remove this view, make it fade in or fade out smoothly. Now that you've seen how opacity works, let's take it one step further. Sometimes fading in or out isn't enough. You might want the view to appear with a zoom effect as well. This is where combining transitions becomes really useful. We write transition opacity combined with scale. This tells Swift UI to fade and scale the view at the same time. It looks cleaner and more animated. Everything else stays the same. You still use if show and with animation. That's how you combine transitions in Swift UI. By default, Swift UI uses the same transition when a view appears and disappears. But sometimes you want it to behave differently. For example, slide in from the left, but slide out to the bottom. That's where asymmetric comes in. This means when the view appears, it moves in from the left. When it disappears, it moves down and out. You can mix and match any transitions for insertion and removal. That's how you make your animations feel more alive and intentional. Sometimes the built-in transitions aren't enough. You want full control over how the view enters and exits. In iOS 17 and later, you can do that using the transition protocol. Let's break it down. This custom transition runs when the view appears or disappears. We check the value of phase.ice identity. If it's true, the view is fully shown. If it's false, the view is leaving or about to enter. In this example, when the view is not visible, we move it 400 points to the right and 400 points down. We make it fully transparent with opacity zero, and we scale it down to 50% of its size. When it becomes visible again, we reset everything up position, opacity, and scale back to normal. This gives you full control over how your view animates in and out. You can change the direction, speed, or even add blur all inside this transition. This gives you full control to build anything you want, clean, custom, and reusable.